Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the show. We're looking at something quite exciting today because, uh, you know, if you don't already know, uh, I love mountains, okay? And Austria, that's where we're at today. We're in Austria again, and Austria has some amazing scenery, amazing mountains. That's what I've learned so far. There's a lot more to learn. I really love the very few videos we've looked at on Austria so far, and I want to learn a lot more. So keep your awesome suggestions coming. This is a suggestion from Pyro Benane on Discord. So thank you for that. This is why skiing East Tyrol should be on your bucket list. And this is from a channel simply called The Slippery Slope. So uh, this will be linked down below. Please watch the whole thing uninterrupted. And of course, check out their channel. Let's get straight into this. I am down to see some awesome skiing, which is on my bucket list. Something I want to do anywhere, period. I just haven't done it. And uh, especially, uh, I would love to see the mountains, the snow, and the scenery here in this video from Austria. Here we go. Starts out, I believe, with the cinematic here. Oh, my God. I got to pause it. Let me take this in. That is insane. <laughs> I, I have to say, like, one thing we really do have pretty awesome here in North America, especially, you know, uh, when you're talking, you know, Mexico, the U.S., Canada. We have some amazing mountain ranges and some epic scenery uh, when it comes to high mountains the rockies the cascades but this is underrated over here at least from my perspective these are absolutely huge and they're epic i mean look at that snow-capped beauty right there uh, i always knew there were mountains you know elsewhere in the world of course uh, but i never got I, the chance i guess to really uh admire these mountain ranges in europe especially when we're talking like austria here it is just gorgeous I am uh, really excited to learn about these different places. This is, looks insane. Oh, my God. This is not the type of skiing I'll, I'll be doing if I ever try <laughs> Straight up, like, not in an open uh, kind of run there, but rather dodging all these different obstacles. That is next level. Look at that. That is insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> Welcome to our block. You know, that's living life right there. Look at, he's got the sunshine. Looks like it's morning time. He's got a cold beer. About skiing in eastern Tyrol. And I'm sure he's got good scenery. Tyrol, as you might know, is going one of on. the nine states of Austria. Austria! <laughs> well then. When you look up Tyrol on the map, you'll see something a little bit weird because Tyrol is actually split into two parts. Those it parts is. are northern Tyrol, which is where we that's are weird. right now and where most of these blocks are filmed. But then there's also a smaller section in the southeast, which is called Eastern Tyrol or Ost Tyrol. Now, maybe you've also heard of Southern Tyrol or Sweet Tyrol, which is part of wow. Italy now, and also the reason why those other two parts of Tyrol are not connected anymore. Until World War I, all of Tyrol was part of the Habsburg monarchy, but then in 1919, after the war had ended, Southern Tyrol was annexed by Italy, and the remaining mm. two sections became then part of the newly formed Republic of Austria. Okay, cool, but why it, you saw on, You saw on that map, by the way, which was cool, because it had the flags. Part of the newly but look at you can see the topography look at how unbelievably mountainous this is formed republic of austria okay cool but why does it how much of austria is mountains that's insane like almost the whole country <laughs> that's like paradise to me it's a matter for a blog about <laughs> freaking speed, awesome you might wonder. well if we look at the map closely we can see that <sighs> northern tyrol lies north of the alpine divide mm. basically the main ridge line of the alps okay whereas eastern tyrol actually lies south of it now, during winters with predominantly gotcha. southern winds, the moist air will get blocked by those highest mountains of the main ridge line, and precipitation will fall on the southern side, oh, whereas okay. the northern side will get warmer air and less precipitation. Wow. This is exactly what happened last winter. We didn't have too much snow here, at yeah. least not at the beginning of the season. And Eastern Tyrol had, what's the measurement again? A motherfucking shit ton of snow. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That is how you explain weather right there. Uh, no, I actually love that he included that um, because uh, I'm a weather nerd too. That I find it so interesting how different parts of the world or different parts of states or regions or countries can have varied 
uh, radically different weather from somewhere that's maybe just two hours away, right? I, I think that's what's really interesting. And uh, that was a great explanation of as to how powerful mountains are, how they can totally change weather patterns. So uh, basically the northern part of Tyrol, you know, might get a lot less snow and be, you know, more sunny and warm uh, because of that dividing range there. And the southern part or east Tyrol, rather, uh, will get a lot more snow or as he worded it. So that is uh, very interesting to me. And uh, this guy is awesome Ski. for sure. <laughs> Therefore, we were left with no choice but to pack our skis, drive down there and see what the hype is all about. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Oh my God, that's wild. Dude, that would be wild to see in person. That looks good on a screen. That would just be jaw dropping in person. Look, I mean, you were literally in the clouds. Oh, I wonder how that snow is. That looks so fun. Ooh, ooh, that was a tough one. Jeez. Skiing looks like such an adrenaline rush, man. It's something I'm so interested in, but I know it could be so dangerous. And also, like, one of those sports that you can't fake. Uh, you just know after, like, one second of skiing if someone's a pro or experienced or if someone's totally a rookie. <laughs> Right? There's no faking that sport whatsoever. More soon after. This time we went to a different resort where we discovered some ridiculously steep tree ski. Oh my god. Look at that drop off. Oh my god. That's too steep, yeah? <laughs> that is too steep. Oh, jeez. That's like a straight drop off. I think it should work. You guys are, you guys are brave, man. Brave or crazy? I don't know which. Maybe a little bit of both. Oh, jeez. Okay, someone's going to give it a go. How is it? gonna go though <laughs> holy crap that is some thick snowpack it's almost gonna be hard to get momentum which i guess the snowpack helps oh geez these guys are skilled man i could never ever do this <laughs> oh ooh, ooh. he got some speed quick there he had to put on the brakes Jeez, this is crazy, man. And there's trees freaking everywhere. You gotta find your own path, like, on the go. Super quick. Those branches look like they uh, would not feel too great. <laughs> Brushing up against your face. There you go. He got some momentum there. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is crazy wow i mean not gonna lie it was pretty freaking awesome makes for good footage i looks pretty dangerous looks pretty crazy but good on these guys wow they did it Look at those awesome mountain roads, tunnels. What is that, tolls? Mm. I suppose there might Back be toll roads, yeah? ski day in Osterol. Supposedly it's 10 hours of sunshine today. Not yet. And it's gonna be minus 17 at the top. Oh. Should be fun. Uh, oh, definitely wow. talking in Celsius, right? Uh, minus 17, geez, that is cold. I mean, I mean, you are at the top of mountains, so it's always going to be cold up there. That looks really good, by the way. Ah, my auto. I love how parking lots really full. Have to agree, it's launch right out. <laughs> oh, above the clouds. Oh yes. Blue skies up Every there. Day in Osterol is a good day. It looks like it. I mean, you're above the clouds. You got blue skies and sun. 
God, that is tall. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is wild. Drone shots are nuts. <laughs> Jeez, dude. You know, these videos are crazy because when they go down without wiping out, it makes for this awesome footage, but what you have to realize is they make it look easy and it's not. This is so not easy, it's not even funny. Jeez. Oh my God, that's crazy. Ooh, look at the food. Whoa, whoa, what do we got? Yum. Who needs a ski hut when you have a bakery right next to the... Those doodles, huh? Right, dear. Oh my god. Oh, yum. Even donuts? Hell yeah. Can't go wrong. Prosecco time. That's a typical Euro lunch. Prosecco and a cappuccino. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, man. I can't believe these guys are freaking jumping while there's like a million <laughs> miles of down slope in front of them. That is so wild to get air like that. I'm going to end it there, guys. We did skip around quite a bit, so please make sure and check out that full video with that link in the description and check out their channel. That was freaking awesome stuff. Uh, as you can see in the screenshot here, that is a drop-dead gorgeous place it really is look at the sky the infinite blue sky and these amazing uh snow-capped peaks ridges uh the sun shining off them casting shadows on the backside there i mean it is just so picturesque it is like a snow paradise for sure so anyone with suggestions uh about austria or surrounding countries please throw them my way i love learning more and austria is just uh, really, really fascinating to me in the few videos I've looked at. I, I'm really loving it. And if you're a skier, uh, you want to comment on this, tell me about maybe your experiences, where are some of the best skiing spots in your opinion. And uh, if you've been lucky enough to travel, like how does skiing compare in parts of Europe like this versus maybe, uh, I don't know, like North America or, or elsewhere. I'm not a skiing expert at all. I'm very much just a spectator in that space. Like, uh, it looks really fun. And I would love to do some more simple skiing on some maybe like round hills someday in my life. Not quite like this, unless I had a lot of practice, you know what I mean? But uh, this is just epic to watch. And uh, it definitely looks like you can have some serious fun in Austria. Please throw a like on there if you enjoyed this. Of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.